with it. Ashley joins Michael Marks, your produce man, with the details. Yes. Hi. I don't know what he's doing back there. Hold on, hold on. While I he have... waits, I'm just going to grab a strawberry. Can I eat a strawberry? Yeah, go ahead. I had to get some okay. water. <clears throat> okay. I had to get water in there. Um, can you? Okay. They are getting as big as plums. Look at that thing. That's huge. Man, this is actually called a fan. When you have a flower on a uh, on a strawberry and you get a lot of wind, mm -hmm. then you end up with this fan uh, look to it. So here's another fan. Wow. Yeah. So that uh, that's pretty common when you have a lot of wind during the blossoming time. Wow. So anyway, before we start uh, talking strawberries, I got to go alphabetically. Okay. Uh, asparagus. Oh. Asparagus so, festival, by the way, is when? Uh, usually, Every year. Uh, I, I don't know. Are they still having it? I thought they were. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's, a, it's a real shame. We used to grow about 35,000 acres of asparagus in the Delta region of California. We're down oh. to maybe four or five. Why? It's very, very sad because uh, asparagus is a very labor-intensive crop. Mm. Every spear is hand-cut. Every spear is hand-sorted. Every spear is hand-put into, in, into place. So it's very labor-intensive. And, uh, and so that's one of the reasons why. It's very tough to get labor to pick 30,000 acres of asparagus. So it's very, very sad. Uh, but anyway, uh, this asparagus, that looks awesome to me. You know what I look for? There's three Three things I want you to look for. We're doing three things on everything today. Okay. So three things I want you to remember about asparagus is number one, fat. Again, just like the uh, the stem on the uh, on the artichoke, you want the fatter they are, the bigger. In fact, when they're the size of my thumb, those are the ones I get. Oh. Uh, but the fatter they are, the better they are. Uh, number two, peel. You've got to peel your asparagus. Any great chef from Europe will tell you, you peel every spear of asparagus. Really? So obviously you can't peel those little tiny thin things. Right. So you got to get these big ones and peel them. I've never peeled an asparagus. It, once you peel your asparagus, you will never, ever eat unpeeled asparagus again. Do you it peel changes the entire asparagus? About, an, just... inch, about okay. an inch below. Oh, wow. That's what you, How does you it change peel. the flavor? Uh, it's so sweet and tender. Oh, wow. my goodness, it's so good. And number three is grill. So fat, yes. peel, and grill. So grill them, <laughs> yes. right? We're all yesing over here. Just yes. a little bit of olive oil. And they're so easy to tell when they're done on the grill. Mm -hmm. When they lose their shine, they're done. Pull them off immediately. So, so when you get these home, by the way, I want here's how I want you to store them. Okay. Uh, I want you to cut off just the very white. Uh, when you get uh, flowers, what's the very first thing you do with flowers? You cut cut them. off the very bottom. Mm -hmm. And then put them in some water. This goes in the refrigerator just like this. This will keep forever for you. Strawberries. Oh. We got 30 seconds to talk strawberries. Yeah, so I'm just going to eat while you talk. How's that? Uh, you go right ahead. Three things I want you to remember about strawberries. Number one, shiny. They they must be shiny. That means they're fat with sugar and fat fat with juice. Number number two is take a look at that calyx. Very uh, very fresh. That that's this thing right here, calyx. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, very fresh and very velvety. And number three, just smell. Just stand at the display oh, and smell. If it smells like strawberry shortcake. It is ready. Oh, my goodness. And by the way, how many seeds are on every strawberry? Dr. Victor Voth told me this. He was the guy who created all of these strawberries. No, around 200 on every strawberry. Oh. It looks as you call it. If you eat that, it's good for digestion. There you go. So really? I eat the whole strawberry. You do? I do. Even the green part? Eat the green part, yeah. Oh. Green part. It's good for it's digestion. It's called the calyx, can be. Mm. Calyx. Calyx. Okay. Do you eat the green part? Do you eat the I don't, but I will. Yeah. I'll start. Yep. Wow. All right, I'm going to do that right now. Oh, you eat it with the strawberry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a strawberry toaster strudel today. Oh. <laughs> Almost the same thing. Look at that. <laughs> the change mm. of season means it's time for a trip to the farm. <laughs> Dutch Trello Farms in Modesto now.